Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Lisa. Previously on Lisa, we went mutant hunting, got ourselves a bike, and now can finally proceed with the main adventure. After we do a little sidetracking. No humans allowed. Hello there, my friend. Not too friendly, are we? Damn, he hits hard. Buffs are really strong in this game. I feel like I feel like there's support and debuffs and status in general. Overall, it's really useful. Combos aren't as useful later on though, I guess. So I do sometimes see them doing almost very little to um, no damage to pick on the enemy. Where it's just better just to input the uh, just to choose a skill and just get it over with kind of thing. Except in this Brad, who seems to hit pretty strong no matter what. I also know that uh, later on, if you lose some limbs, Brad can't even put commands, so it's kind of one of those things you better get used to not using. Go. They are strong. Follow them. They will teach you the ways of the world. The ways of the world is to eat the squirrel. World jerky, all right. Well, no loose, no loose uh, ends. So the party I'll continue on with the main game for right now is Brad, Rage, and Beastborn Terry. Nuren's got some skills and some support things going, but I don't feel like he's completely useful. He works better with uh, 
Olan, because he can buff up his uh, TP in battle. <laughs> Terry has got some debuffs, he's got some heals, he's got some other things. Uh, completely worthless a fighter and a complete... Yeah, so if they so much as look in his general direction, he's a good chance he's gonna die. But I feel like he fits a more traditional support. Brad is obviously our main character in Powerhouse. Rage hits pretty hard, and I feel like Rage is more consistent in damage than Olan right now. And... He's born, I don't know, but he seems pretty good, like, just going by this. So, we'll roll with him. Alright, we've pretty much cleared up everything we have to do in this area. If you're noticing, Brad goes in withdrawal, I think some other characters do. But he's addicted to joy, and uh... That's a bit of a mechanic. If his stats just drop when he goes in withdrawal. There's not much you can do, it's not gonna rest it off. Or just live with it, or take joy. And joy will make your game easier. But I've been choosing... For roleplay reasons, not to take any. Because I'm curious if it'll have an effect on the story. Or if it'll you kick the habit. Just like I said, this, this game is really just an excuse to have a kind of a spiritual journey. Uh, for Brad in general, so... Oh, 10 magazine! So rad! Hey. What the hell? I should drop down them. I think I'll my bike though. Okay. Ow! Oh! Oh, you have a voice. Sup? Oh no, I'm just some bald guy. Everyone's really gullible in this world. Well, nice to meet you, person who looks like they belong in Sesame Street. What is in here? What the? Hi, uh, person. I've found apparently beautiful again. Are you my wife? No, you're my neighbor's wife. Shelly. You were so beautiful one time, Rick. We were all beautiful. I feel like every one of his friends, including him, uh, rather, everyone in this group, I feel like, has a dysfunctional household. It's kind of poignant, considering this is kind of the stereotypical nuclear home, as we refer to it. God. 
It's like Rick is stuck in the stereotypical American home like you see in a sitcom and everyone else is just... Like he obviously has a son that's not related to him. Uh, a wife that's completely apathetic to everything. He just completely remains oblivious to all of it, just keeping up the facade. Grass is looking uh, like a single, single grass sprite. You want to talk about? You wish you were a guy with very nice hair and beard who has terrible father issues and suffers from horrible uh, addiction. Yeah, I kind of noticed. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's great. I just love when my memories come back to haunt me. I don't remember coming here. I fight him. This is more this is more agreeable solution for me. This is kind of bad for your health. Occasionally, since I uh, murder you guys sometimes. I think there's a wagon drop down there. But I don't know. How. What am I accomplishing in life? Team Lord of Surprise. I just got kicked in the groin. <laughs> oh, 
Christ. I'll get you this time. First. Got you, bro. Junior Red Dog. Oh, the one I found earlier. Cool. This time I'm not gonna blow my save and go back to the wood. You look a lot like a guy I killed earlier. Yeah, that about sums up everyone in this world. I feel like everyone who lives in this post-apocalyptic world has like some kind of family issue before they hit this state. Let's change the Terry out. Dies too quick in that one fight. We'll try Mad Dog. Shoot it! Nice. These caves seem to start looking really familiar after a while. Wet stick. It's an upgrade for a spike club. <laughs> okay. Ready for these guys now. Oh, my God. 
is actually a pretty tough fight. This game is not actually that easy. It's not uh, really hard as some RPGs, but this is not a game where you just like can go to sleep on it. Per se. this in the bag now. Boys, tough guys. Fireball too would be useful. Fro deer. Don't mess with the tunnel snakes. Let's see what's this way first. Hi. Need the girl everyone's searching for? Everyone kind of talks about her looking ugly, it's kind of weird. She didn't seem to be ugly, but... I feel like there's some kind of deeper message behind all this. It's gonna turn out not to be her, isn't it? It's gonna be like a man or something, and everyone's just really confused. That's why they keep bringing up the horse thing, uh, stuff. Hi. Some kind of football barrel challenge. Alright. Are so good. That it? I don't need the risk. That's more of a risk than it's worth. So you go sneakingly through the back, go right for the front door and get into a big fight. Hell yeah. 
Oh, it's locked. I heard. No need for crass behavior. Let's go past a little bit. You seem familiar. Are you- aren't you one of my friends? Yeah. It's the basketball court. That's weird. Let's clear the place out. So far I've kept Brad clean, I intend to keep it that way. I'm keeping Terry alive in these fights, it's a problem. This is not the place. This is the... These are the bosses from the demo. Hello. She isn't here, is she? Just know us, I have no hair. Yes, I'm bald. You know the horrible truth. I I am pretty dandy. See, this encounter happened a lot differently than demo. They're actually pretty friendly and just... Oh, I'm going for withdrawal. Ugh. Just gotta light the hair on fire. Damn, that hair hits hard. Is craving. Now 
that hits real hard. Yes, we're asking for it. Her hair is gone. It is simply a mass of waste. <laughs> this Chivo. Really? Hair manatee? Uh, meta call out. Yeah, I figured. Party member. I'm on a bike. Super barrel rubbers. Um, the secret is that the barrel rubbers themselves are actually not a threat at all. It's actually pretty valuable in this situation. Yeah. Now join me in my perfect war. This is the foundation of a good relationship. It's actually really convenient. I was wondering how they were going to keep track of all these secrets. <sighs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go, son? It just disappeared. Weird. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway. Does he have two daughters? Then the hanged one is the first one. as we can. Everyone's just such a prick in this universe. And this song is so, so nice for what this is supposed to be. tough guy. <laughs> Only nine mags. So that's it for Lisa, part four. Well, we've got some new party members, and we are nowhere near closer to fulfilling our objective of finding the girl. But from the various flashbacks we can see, pretty much Brad and all of his friends, every single one of them had an issue. In fact, I think everyone in this world has an issue. And it's like some weird, weird punishment for all these men or something. Who all had either family or spousal issues or some kind of trauma. Either they lost a family member, something's holding every one of them back. So it makes me wonder if it's not really a post-apocalypse, but really, it could just be Limbo. And every one of these guys are dead somehow. Or a nuke dropped in all of them, and that's how they all died. That's how they're all coincidentally in the same area. I don't know. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for Lisa, Part 5.